Starbucks hot chocolate, about $5. My hot chocolate, about $1.50. Let's get into it. What is up? My name is Ryan. How we doing? Someone is currently using the basement to do work, so obviously I can't do anything there. So today we are going to just be in the kitchen making some hot chocolate. Now working at Starbucks for so long, I kind of just know by heart how to make the hot chocolate. You take mocha sauce, vanilla syrup. But I also feel like everyone else can do this very, very easily. I think if you make your own syrup, it's a great way to start to make the perfect hot chocolate every single time. So how do we do that? What you'll need is cocoa powder, sugar, and water. Very simple. You take one part cocoa powder to two parts sugar, and then you add water. Start off by putting half of your dry ingredients into the bowl and then topping it with water at 197 degrees. I'm gonna be honest with you, there's no specific reasons on why it's 197. It just needs to be at around boiling. I just make that joke because it's the exact temperature that it is at Starbucks. Once you get the water in, mix it up and then add the rest of your dry ingredients. Put those bad guys together, get a funnel, throw it into your favorite little syrup bottle. I got this for like five bucks. No, I actually got it for two bucks and then you are good to go. It's good in the fridge for about seven days. Starbucks just throws these guys out after every 24 hours, but that's because they leave it outside. Up next, we need to make a vanilla simple syrup. To make your simple syrup, all you need is two parts sugar to one part water. So in this example, we're gonna do one cup of sugar to a half cup of water. Make sure that water is at boiling temperature. So 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. Before you enter in your hot water, make sure that you have just a little bit of vanilla extract. Start off with a tablespoon and over time decide how much you actually want in it based off of your flavor profile. I think I did like three tablespoons by accident because I tried to free pour, but you know, gotta live a little. And once again, just get your favorite bottle after mixing it all up, put it in, and you're good to go. Hey, wait, before we get into the final part, I know it's gonna be really good. I need you to do me a favor. I'm locked in the basement right now until you subscribe. 87% of the people who watch my videos don't subscribe. What is that? Why? I haven't eaten in, well, I have food right there, but like I, I could have not eaten for days because of this. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, like it. Share it to your grandma. Your grandma doesn't like chocolate. Okay, we got our mocha, we got our vanilla. How do we make this all together? It's way simpler than you think. Grab your mug, throw in your mocha, throw in your vanilla. Do more mocha than vanilla. Add in hot milk, heat it up for like 45 seconds, maybe a minute in the microwave, you're good. Froth up your milk. I'm using the sub-minimal frother. It's really cool because it has this cool little screen that you put on it to make it latte-like foam, but only being about 50 bucks. Versus your normal frothers like this, over froth your milk, that just splashed me in the face. Now it's time to top it. Add some whipped cream, some mocha drizzle, and hey, maybe some cinnamon if you're feeling good. 10 out of 10 would recommend this recipe to anybody and everybody. I also recommend making your own sauces because if you make your own sauces, you don't have to worry about expiration dates as much. You can keep the powdered stuff off to the side, add water when you need to. It's also really good if you're vegan, dislike preservatives, or just don't like dairy. And lastly, you don't have to make it hot chocolate. You can use these guys to make your own coffees. And the best part is, on average, it's probably about $1.50 per cup versus the $5 that you'd have to spend at Starbucks. Hey, it's me, the guy who's uh, locked in the basement again. Um, he forgot to film the ending. I don't know why. He, he was there. He could have done it. So, you know, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, hit that plus, hit that bell. I don't, I don't know what all the, the things are. Why, why are you making me do this? Oh, because I'm trapped here against my will. All right. And regardless, drink better coffee.